How does it feel just one one away from history here? Um, you know, our job is to stay in the moment. So we're proud of our start tonight. Uh, I thought the guys really dialed it in, played a, a tighter third period. So um, hats off to the players. You know, they're grinding. It wasn't easy. A lot of penalty kills in the first period. But, yeah, great. Obviously, we, you know, this is the position we want to be in, and, and we are. So, um, you know, just reset. Make sure we come out tomorrow with, uh, with our best effort of the series. When you think back to being down 3-1 against Jacksonville in the first uh, rounds, what does it say about this team and this year to be able to battle back from that and then go on this run that you have only lost a handful of games ever since? Yeah, uh, I don't know if I'm at the reflecting stage yet, but uh, you know, six games going the year, we won five to get into playoffs. Down 3-1 in the first round, um, big turning point, huge boost of, of, for our confidence. Uh, moving forward and and we really haven't looked back so um, you know at some point we'll all look back and say it was a, another wild run uh, it seems like every year there's um, those moments or those stories but you know it's how you handle it and the guys have done a great job offensively you guys have obviously picked it up uh, ever since that Jacksonville uh, series what have you liked out of the offense especially as of late um, to continue to score against this uh, this Kansas City team you know, I, f I feel like we we kind of caught our second win in the finals. Um, Adirondack was a was a grueling series, and um, once we got through that one, it, you know, I feel like there's a little bit more jump in our step. Um, you know, we, we have three pretty potent lines, so um, we're getting contributions from from all three lines, and uh, that, that's a great sign. What was the key to be able to maintain that you know that goal streak um, and keep that traction? Um. Goal Street and traction. Not really sure. I think you know after the second period, it was a little bit of a mental reset for us. Um, felt like we were trying to do a little too much. Turned a lot of pucks over, and it led to uh, you know a lot of their transition game. And they've got a, a really good hockey team, fast, you know, dynamic four group. So um, we came back in, just reset, get back to what we do best, and I thought the guys came out, you know, just grinded out a third period. We yeah. talked about it yesterday, you know, the power the, the power play. You didn't want to take as many penalties as you did yesterday, but you got a short hand goal from, once again, Oliver Chow tonight to open up the scoring. That was pretty huge for you guys. You know, you kill off that four-minute penalty, kill that four-minute penalty, and then you got to get back short hand goal. That was pretty huge for you guys. Armand, you're on the ball. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah, big turning point, right? Uh, we came out and against a really uh, great power play. We were undisciplined or careless with our stick. Um, PK was good enough, and then the big shorthand of goal, you know, you could argue that was the turning point in the game. So um, not exactly the start we wanted, but it was. Three out, of, three out of your four goals came in non five on five. What does it say about your team playing in all situations? Yeah, I mean, special teams really hasn't been our strength here, but, um, you know, we got it done tonight. So, yeah, it's it, it was no Picasso tonight. Um, we just found a way. So, you know, I thought uh, Cam Johnson was great when we needed him to be. And uh, the decor, you know, the PK and the decor came to play tonight. Um, did a great job breaking pucks out, just simplifying on the back end. What's the message to the team going into tomorrow where you could clinch your third straight? Yeah, you know, I told the guys we've been here before. Um, game five against Adirondack, we were in the same position. So uh, we know what it takes. We know mentally we got to be in the right spot just to come back and put a put a full 60 of work in third period um they didn't get a shot on goal for like 16 minutes how did your defense keep that from happening yeah you know i think it was it was a combination of uh, of our systems and and really our decor i thought we won a lot of puck battles in those situations um but yeah just hats off to anthony peters the you know the assistant coach and the decor those guys um, they've been great, and you know, defense really is how you win these games, and, and they did that. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Rosamine, one win away down the Metallic Cup Championship. It's awesome. It's awesome. Our team's battled hard. I mean, uh, the commitment that I've seen from the players and the coaching staff here is like tremendous. Uh, Ralphie knows how to win and he puts us in a position to do that every night and then the rest is up to the guys, you know. Um, 
following the game plan. Uh, we're getting some great performances right now from Oliver Chow, uh, Mark Sendin, Bobo Carpenter. They're really stepping up and um, they're making a name for themselves and taking advantage of the ice time they've been given. Defense only allowed 19 shots tonight. Um, what can you say about that unit, especially throughout this entire run? We call our D the D core. <laughs> um, they're they're our Marines. They're our heart and soul. Um, without them, we wouldn't even be having these conversations right now. They know what they are to our team. Um, they've scored more, I think, than any defenseman throughout the playoffs. They've shut down more good players than any defenseman in the playoffs. I mean, any team that's looking for for some shutdown guys, our, our team's got it. How much have you been enjoying this after joining the team like about 12, 13 games left in the regular season and now this? What's it been like for you to kind of be a part of this now? Uh, it's been lots of fun with the guys. I mean, on the ice, it's not so fun. Uh, <laughs> the teams are, are pretty vicious and I understand that it's playoffs and it's the East Coast and the refs are learning just as much as we are. And uh, sometimes we wish they learned a little bit faster, but uh, it's been good. You know, our teams battled I personally think we've battled more adversity than any other team. The amount of games that the other team has had double the power play minutes than us, and we just keep keep playing, keep pursuing. Uh, we know in a lot of ways uh, everyone's against us. No one wants to see us make history, and we don't care. What's the mentality like going into tomorrow, knowing that you could clinch it here on your home ice? Uh, just focus. Focus. Uh, you got a lot of guys who are who have put in so much work to get to this point. Um, and I think that uh, you, you'll see that tomorrow. What was the environment like for you on the ice uh, with the sold out crowd? Oh, it was awesome, it was awesome. Lots of people uh, come when you wait. That's the way, that's the way it goes. Uh, I'm, no disrespect to the people that came today, but I appreciate the people who were there from game one. Uh, and the people who have come every single night and um, battled with us when we were down 3-1 to Jacksonville. <laughs> Wasn't looking good. Um, and then throughout the other series, uh, the ones who really stuck with us. Uh, thank you. Thank you to all of you. And uh, your personal journey coming back, how does it feel to get back here now to be one win away for you? Yes, this, this is what I planned. I told everyone I was coming here to do this, and uh, I was going to contribute as much as I needed to for, for this to happen. And uh, like you said, one win away. And um, how big was that for you guys to kind of get on the board with that shorthanded goal? Like I said, Oliver Chow, <laughs> good Chow. <laughs> um, no, nah, he's been he's been electric the last two games. I think that he's taken the wind out of their sails. Um, for me, what he's accomplished over the playoffs and the way that he stepped up over the last little bit has been amazing to watch. And two of your former teammates, and Sam Bennett and Connor McDavid, are going against each other in this Stanley Cup final. How are you viewing it from afar? Uh, personally, I'm happy if either guy wins. Uh, I'm focused on my hardware, and then uh, after after we, we get the job done here, then uh, maybe I'll pick a side. <laughs> How do you plan on blocking out the noise and staying laser focused to take the series tomorrow? Oh, we love the noise. We hear it all. Uh, we don't we don't try to block it out. For us, we want to hear what people have to say, and uh, we want them to doubt us, and we want them to be against us because our team thrives through that. I think that. Um, to be strong in any walk of life, you need to battle through adversity, and our team does not care about it. <laughs> Thank you. Obviously a big win. Um, how, are you, how confident do you feel going into tomorrow's uh, maybe clinching game? Uh, I think the biggest thing is uh, we just have to reset. Like They're a really good hockey team. They're going to be a hungry hockey team. Uh, we've been in their position before, so we know what it's like. So just got to reset, uh, treat it like any other game. You've been in a lot of uh, loud environments, especially here at first the past couple of years. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a lot of fun playing in those environments. Uh, they bring it here every night, uh, so it's easy to get up for these games. What do you have to say about your team being able to generate in these high stress situations like tonight? We just stick together. At the end of the day, everyone's got each other's back. So, um, you know, if somebody makes a mistake, they just pick them up. No big deal. Uh, nobody stresses out too much. Just stay calm, just on to the next moment, and just keep going. Huge for you guys to open up the scoring on the, uh, with a shorthanded goal. How big was that for you guys? Uh, it was huge. I think that was the end of the four minute or so. Uh, it was huge to, to get that. Chazzy made a great shot. So. That was just a great individual effort, and uh, we need those at the end of the day. Can you talk about Oliver Chow's play, you know, just his play just during the, the Cup Finals here? Yeah, he makes my job a lot easier. So uh, I've been playing with him for about two years now, so uh, my common theme is to just give the puck to Chow. So he's a great player. He pushes the pace. He can make plays. So 
Uh, I love playing with him. Yeah. So the goal you scored, how did that come about? Uh, I stood there and Moberg hit it off my shin pad. Uh, I guess I was just right place, right time. So uh, I'll take it. You take it however you get it because they all count the same. Facing off against some players who were here back in 2020 to affiliate change, what does it mean just for these last three years, just about not only the Everblades, but just hockey in this region in general? Uh, yeah, it's huge. You know, the guys on the other team, whether it's uh, Jeremko or McLaughlin, like they're part of you know, kind of the legacy here. You know, they were part of this a couple of years ago. So uh, even since I've been here, it's grown. Uh, the crowds are crazier ever since I've been here. So uh, it's a lot of fun, and it's great to be a part of them. And how does it feel just one little way? It's a good feeling, but at the end of the day, we got to get the job done. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.